Hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, we are going to get um, started with our FAST Data Insights uh, conversation today. Uh, we thank you for joining us. This is uh, Juan Nunez speaking, and I am joined, joined today by uh, Bill Shea. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, Bill and I um, have been working together uh, for uh, many, many years in the space of data and analytics, and we're really thankful for you um, uh, to join us today. Um, very quickly, um, and, and to get started, uh, a little bit about MicroStrategy. Our company was uh, founding, founded uh, 37 years ago, and uh, since its inception, uh, customers have been at the center of the work that we do and the solutions that we bring to market. So we're over 140 uh, professionals and across multiple areas of expertise. And um, we're, we're spread out uh, across uh, four locations in New, Jer New Jersey, uh, Pennsylvania, New York, and Massachusetts. And from there, we support uh, customers uh, across uh, the Northeast and um, and really the world uh, on um, uh, companies that go from the range from mid-size to uh, enterprise level. So we believe that um, bringing solutions to the market that are connected to real world uh, of objectives, business objectives, and experience experiences is critical. Um, we understand that data is a competitive advantage and in our goal in the solutions that we create and bring to market is to simplify the way that you work with your data. So our team is composed by professionals who have real experience defining, delivering, and operating uh, these types of uh, solutions for companies uh, across many industries. And we help, we help them in many areas. We help our customers in many areas. Uh, some of those um, are infrastructure, security, business process, analytics, and then the business technologies and operation needs uh, that our customers may have. Now, um, based on, on the experiences that uh, our team has, that, that's where we ground our solutions and, and we look for uh, business objectives. Uh, so the business objectives uh, for our clients and the real challenges that are out there uh, in the world. And um, we partner with our customers to, to match uh, those uh, either objectives or challenges with the best solutions, best in class solutions um, and, and we scope the uh, technology landscapes to pick uh, the best uh, capabilities to solve for them. We ensure, and uh, one of the, the focuses that we have is to ensure success through uh, the implementation and operation services that we provide um, our customers. So, Jumping um, right into our conversation today on fast data insight, um, we we let, let me walk you through some of the challenges that uh, we have encountered uh, as we were uh, working on the customer side through uh, over uh, 20 years, uh, and some of the things that we continue to encounter. Uh, as we um, interact with our with our customers, so many organizations uh, integrate data into um, decentralized databases or data warehouses, uh, where you standardize the ac access across uh, multiple systems, and, and you, you have many source systems, whether it's ERP systems or uh, loyalty platforms, uh, CRM systems, your web or transaction systems, 
and uh, integrate your data uh, into um, these uh, subject areas, whether it's for customer finance, marketing, operations, um, basically come up with a set of uh, metrics that you're going to be look at and standardize the process in which you're going to get those. And that is a good thing. That is a, actually a, a very good thing that helps uh, many of our customers uh, get uh, value from their data. The challenge comes in as data grows. Uh, in data, as, as you all know, uh, it's continuing to grow exponentially. Business teams need access to new data, and at times it takes weeks or months to uh, get something integrated into a central system that, that you already have in place. Um, things that uh, occur at times as well is uh, your, your company is actually doing very well, you're successful, uh, you have acquisition, and then um, that actually exacerbates the problem. Your, your data doubles up. Uh, you have another company to integrate data into uh, your system. Your backlogs become uh, longer. And during, during that time, analysts still uh, need access to business, uh, to critical data to make business decisions, and they will start to circumvent this process um, to, 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 to get to those answers. So the list of items that need to be integrated becomes uh, long. Uh, you have to have difficult prioritization conversations and decisions, and, and those take place. Um, circumventing that process create these shadow data processes that uh, duplicate data uh, and exacerbate security concerns. And, and you, you may find yourself asking questions like, where is this particular data coming from? How was this revenue number calculated? Or where does this margin number uh, come from? And as we were kind of grounding in some of the challenges uh, that we have seen and continue to see uh, in the market. Bill and I were uh, talking through through some of these. And Bill, you had some, some good examples of things you've run into um, in, in doing your work. Would you, would you care to share one of those? Sure. There's a, one example that comes to mind was uh, integrating some third-party data. One of our, our um, departments we supported needed to uh, get some data from a third party um, commission junction uh, uh, company that we were um, paying for for leads and they wanted to integrate um, the data to our ERP system to double check and make sure that the leads that we got were actually um, meeting the contract we paid for. Um, and so we had to absorb that data and uh, merge it with our enterprise data and then format and output of data. And it took, unfortunately, it took um, an IT type resource, technical resource, working closely with the business analyst um, and scheduling time together. It just, it took, um, you know, multiple weeks to, to get that process up and running. Um, and, and I always looked at how could we, how could we get functionality like this done closer to the business analyst so they're more in control. And, and these type of scenarios is the ones that, that, that we saw time and time again and we continue to see and is what inform and starts to inform our thinking around fast data insights. And as, as we think about these, these challenges, we, we were asking ourselves, what about an approach that allows us Simplify the way data is acquired, shared across team, uh, made available while still being protected and governed. Uh, and how can we eliminate these dark data processes where you don't know where your data might be? Um, so we asked ourselves, what if there was a way to pick only the data that we need, move it only when required, 
and made it available to analysts and data scientists in a secure and scalable platform. So that's how we came up um, to uh, uh, fast data insights. So for fast data insights has uh, three uh, major components. The first one, all the way to the left, is uh, that we source data from virtually anywhere with uh, 250 plus built-in connectors. And we'll look at those uh, in, 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 in a bit more detail in just a moment. As we source the data, then we leverage an easy to use workspace to prepare the data and make it available on demand. And as data is prepared and made available in what we call our data hub, we deploy reporting, user interaction, and AI machine learning spaces for scalable consum consumption. So when we think about the data hub and the preparation of this data, we like to think of it as sort of a Netflix for data, where you have data on demand that is available to be leveraged um, across uh, your, your, your users, your business users and data scientists uh, and the complete reporting solutions uh, and um, where you can train uh, and execute models uh, against it. Um, we'll, we'll go a little bit more detail with, with this, but the other uh, valuable piece that we built into uh, Fast Data Insights is a way to memorialize the knowledge of your most um, talented and seasoned uh, analysts. So when an analyst with a uh, higher level of skill goes and creates something within Fast Data Insights, then that is shared uh, and can be shared uh, across your user base where uh, uh, less skilled analysts or perhaps newer analysts are able to, to work with those assets as well. So jumping right into uh, the connector, and we, we're going to touch on those three things. Um, we, um, we're breaking that down a little bit. We, we use these built-in connectors to get to your data, whether from a database or from a document, you can access data from multiple places and you can combine that data uh, with Fast Data Insight. Uh, this is just a sample of some of the connectors, but we like to think about it as in, if it is a system, it has an interface, um, we'll be able to, to connect to that system and get your data uh, from it so you, so you can work with it. Uh, you can connect to multiple systems. There's no limit to the systems that you can connect and source those data elements and bring them into uh, the next part, which is uh, the hub to analyze it. Now, once we connect to that data and we wish to analyze it, uh, you can leverage uh, the, the work, these, these workspaces uh, to apply your rules, aggregate and summarize data needed, join data from uh, different uh, sources, apply logic uh, from various sources. And once you're happy with the results, you can actually uh, instantiate that data in that environment or push it down to downstream systems. Um, some of the uh, highlight components uh, that I will, uh, I will look to um, highlight here is uh, there, there is a workspace as you can see, uh, there's multiple data sources coming in and we're doing some work like bringing some of those together and uh, ending up with some output that, um, that you know we can apply logic, apply data preparation, um, and, and there's there's a, a deep level of uh, changes you can make. Uh, you can uh, split columns, combine things, uh, make calculations on specific columns, format the data in specific ways. 
uh, and ultimately end up with an output that combines the data elements that you needed to, to put together. As you uh, run through those components, then you will have that output available um, in, um, in the workspace uh, as, a, as, as something that folks can interact with. And um, you can have folks that have a specific role of curating data review the processes and say, you know, this is curated, this is good, this can be used across the enterprise. Uh, and uh, the, addition, the additional component is uh, as users interact with that data, they can provide their feedback by rating, liking it, uh, or providing additional comments on how specific data elements are, are being used. So going back to your example, uh, Bill, you talked about a uh, highly skilled IT person having to go in and build all these processes. H how might you do that differently with this type of solution? So one of the, the, the way the process started is um, the analyst would get a, a Excel spreadsheet and um, they didn't have a way to get that into a, um, a, a repeatable process to ingest that and, and merge it with um, enterprise data. So here, we'd be able to create um, a connection to the Excel spreadsheet, and that could be um, loaded, you know, could be watching the directory and, and load in, in the process and kicked off and a new file comes in, or it could be scheduled, or it could be manually triggered, but the analyst can control all that. And then the analyst would be able to merge that as individual sources with um, um, the enterprise data, and then create the, and enrich the data and put it in an output format that was required by the other third party, and then schedule that to be you know, published and, and exported. Um, and it's all done through an intuitive, easy to use interface um, that the analyst would have full control over. Yeah, and to, to your point, um, there's, uh, there's, there's the input data, then, then you're, you're doing some work with it. You can define an export and then uh, do a scheduling. The scheduling isn't just for um, pushing data out, it's actually for the entire workflow. So uh, at the scheduled time uh, that, that we pick here, it could be hourly, daily, monthly, it doesn't really matter, or a specific time of play. Um, you, when, when that time arrives, we would go and grab the data from the source system, apply all the transformations that have been uh, created in your workflow and uh, ultimately uh, send it to, to uh, the target. Correct. So um, an additional component, and as we start jumping into sort of some of the, the consumption pieces, is we, we enable um, an access for for users. So whether it's your your business analyst or your data scientist, to go into the hub and interact with data, um, as well as using um, other processes. D data can be made available through uh, graph databases or office tools, or they can create and reuse or reuse uh, Python or R code that they may have uh, already available. So you can interact with the data directly on the hub. And the state in which the data lives in the hub is either already there available or virtualized, meaning uh, we don't move the data unless we're ready to analyze it. And depending on your setup, depending on the source system, there's some best practices as to whether uh, data should be pulled out or, or data could be left in those source systems. And those are some of the things that we work with Deal on to, to, to help figure out. Um, so, so business uh, users and data scientists can access that system directly. Um, also, uh, you can uh, make your data available uh, and can be accessed through, through uh, reporting tools. And, and we have a sample of some uh, reporting uh, capabilities here. It's, it's not all uh, inclusive and it's not really limited. You can, you can connect your uh, reporting tool of choice 
uh, is really about the processes for integration into downstream reporting tools where you can uh, maybe um, drive some schedule reports that you're going to share with your organization. Um, and last but not least, and one, one of the pieces on the consumption side is that you, um, you can leverage the hub to train and score um, your models. Now, the results of your scoring processes can be easily appended to your data. So uh, think about it as another layer of uh, data that is going to be available. Um, so in, in the case that we were chatting about, Bill, you're getting data from Commission Junction, you're mixing that data, you're putting that data together uh, with your uh, enterprise data, you could have created a train and analytical model um, uh, on that data and then scored the, the records and uh, added that or appended that as an additional attribute uh, and use it um, however um, how, however you see the fit in, in your process. Right, all, all in the same workflow where you're, where you're enriching the data, it's just another step in the enrichment process. Exactly. So now as far as uh, the, the, the scoring components and the modeling, modeling components, uh, we do have a point and click uh, type of application uh, to uh, create a variety of models. So those might be uh, linear regression, multilinear regression, or deep learning models, uh, or logistic re regression model. Um, so uh, you, you can use that, uh, that type of interface to create your models, or you can bring your R code and your Python code, and ultimately it becomes an item within um, the, the hub where you can add it to a workflow, select data elements that it, you're going to score uh, a data processing and um, execute it and, and uh, make it available either within the hub or push it downstream. So it can, um, so it can support your AI and machine learning uh, processes. So uh, what's under the hood? Um, Fast Data Insights can be uh, deployed uh, on-premise or on, a, on your private cloud or in a public cloud. So you can uh, deploy that on, on your own data center or you can use uh, a, a data center, a, a public cloud of choice to, to deploy Fast Data Insights. The base system handles all of the connectivity, security, database components, uh, and the containers where um, the solution uh, will run, and also uh, the operational pieces. So anything that has to do with monitoring, logging, and the visualization, or, or giving you visibility into the system usage and its health. On the top, we have um, deployed um, the data services, and those are useful to prepare, to curate your data, transform many types of data. And on this side is the consumption pieces that we were talking about, uh, where you will allow your users, your, your analysts, your data scientists, scientists to uh, interact with the data. We have um, put this together, uh, taking the best components available and deploying it in a, uh, in a way that uh, it can easily scale. So it, it's, not, it's not something that has to be deployed um, uh, at your end state to begin with. It can, it can start small, and because we're using uh, containerization as a platform, it can be expanded to handle um, larger and larger uh, workflows. So we have gone through a lot of information, and um, the, there, there's some key takeaways that we, we would uh, 
um, like for you to, to take to, to take home with you today. Um, and one of one of fast data insights key attributes is that it's a it has a, a data hub within it. It's not a data catalog, but there's real data there ready to be accessed, ready to be worked with. Um, and we think about it as that Netflix for data, data made available very easily. Um, the underlying idea is that IT or your, your technology team or the technology team sets up the platform and the protection around that platform. So protect your data, set up the resources you're going to need to run it. Business users, data scientists, they are the ones who drive. They choose what data is analyzed and when, and they uh, have powerful tools in their fingertips to reduce the time that we spend preparing data to uh, run our models, which is which is a, a huge benefit that I, that, I, that I personally like and use quite a bit. We secure data in, in a non-restrictive manner. So uh, some of the organizations that are using this platform with thousands or thousands of users are discovering and finding that there are the, the, the data is now in a single location rather than being out there in spreadsheets and, and who knows what other process. The data is protected within one place and is accessible to, to others. Fast Data Insights is a, it's a modern approach where users inter, interact with the data and with each other. So we, ch we chatted a little bit earlier about um, users being able to share knowledge across. And the data hub at your fingertips uh, uh, allows for explainable decisions and metrics. The data is in the hub, it's right there. So we, we, although we work with big data, we extract critical items from that data and bring it together to then make decisions and the data is going to be in the hub. So how might we get started? Um, we would say talk to us. Um, our approach is to start small and grow over time. Uh, Fast Data Insights is uh, built on a scalable architecture, so you don't have to go with the end state. Um, our, our team is um, very talented, and we uh, would love to sit down with you, talk about your challenges, figure out what what is the starting point. The Additional piece is that we have uh, Fast Data Insight uh, implemented in, on our, our internal uh, data centers and our executive executive briefing center. Uh, Fast Data Insight is deployed there, and, and we have a number of other technologies in our um, briefing centers that we use to keep our skills sharp and also to um, have our customers interact with these solutions. Um, so this um, um, is um, th this has been uh, kind of our conversation through Fast Data Insight. We'd love to talk to you about some questions that may come up. Um, we're almost running out of time, but I think there's there's one question we probably want to we want to touch on. Um, and the question is. Uh, can you pull data from a website or an API, and how, how would you do that? Um, yes, you can. You can actually create a source to a website that has um, data and maybe a table of data, and you can um, define that. You can actually define multiple areas, and then each one of those areas defined would come into the hub, into the workspace, and it would be represented almost as like a table uh, with rows and columns, and then that could be a source um, for example, pulling down exchange rate data or something like that. Um, and then you can schedule that to publish to an internal table or join with some other data and publish and schedule it to run daily. You can also um, um, put a, a connector, uh, set up a connector to connect to a, an API or a, a URL-based API that returns XML or JSON, which also would be um, a, 
take table, treat it like a table source. All right. So uh, we've gone through a lot of information. We really thank you for your time this morning. Uh, please reach out to us. We'd love to hear about your specific challenges uh, and the situations you're trying to solve for. And uh, we'd love to uh, help you with that and talk to you about how Fast Data Insights can help you. Thank you.